A most important aspect of fruit production is to get a balance between reproductive and vegetative growth. A tree that is too vegetative is in a happy state. It's growing lots of leaves and shoots and it doesn't have the urge to produce offspring or, in other words, many seeds. The opposite, a tree that doesn't grow, that is stunted, will produce lots of flowers. It has a strong preservation urge. It wants to produce lots of offspring before it dies. So to get this balance between vegetative and reproductive growth, there are a number of techniques that the farmer can use. We can use the correct pruning techniques, use the correct rootstock, practice girdling on the tree, use branch bending tree training such as those used in the Solax system, do summer pruning and use chemical growth retardants. Other methods include root pruning, root restriction and restrictive fertilization and irrigation. Since the beginning of professional apple and pear production, several techniques have been employed to avoid excessive shoot growth. Different types of dwarfing rootstocks and scions have been available, particularly for apples and pears. Different cultivars have also shown significant difference in vigor. A Granny Smith is much more vigorous than a Brayburn tree, for instance. The first method of growth control is to select the correct rootstock. Rootstocks can control vigor to a huge extent. Once we've got the right rootstock but still have excessive vigor, we can start looking at some of the other practices that are used to control vigor. One of them is girdling, where we take a knife or a saw blade and we ring bark it right round the trunk. This is normally done at blossom or up to six weeks after blossom. It doesn't have a huge effect on vigor reduction, but what it tends to do is increase fruit set, because you're putting the tree under stress during that very critical flowering period. Because of the tree's self-preservation urge, it tends to set more fruit. One of the really good tools used for growth control is limb bending. If a branch is bent beyond the horizontal, the growth in that branch will be slowed dramatically. This is used in the Solax training system and one of the advantages of the Solax training system is that it reduces vigor because we're bending below the horizontal. Chemical products are also used to control vigor. Various chemicals have been used over time. Today, Regalis is most commonly used. It does a very good job as a growth retardant. It's applied at full bloom and is repeated five weeks later. It doesn't reduce the number of leaves greatly, it just shortens the internodes of the branch. This tree was sprayed with regalis, 30% um, blossom and again five weeks later. The effect of the regalis is a lot of these short little branches everywhere and one can clearly see the very short internodes where regalis has been sprayed. Um, this branch has got more than 10 leaves with very short internodes. It's sprayed onto the tree and only affects the part of the tree sprayed with regalis and is only active in the tree for about five weeks. It reduces winter pruning greatly and reduces summer pruning, therefore reducing the possibility of sunburn greatly. Summer pruning is another method used to regulate tree growth and is very effective in controlling excessive vigor. The earlier summer pruning is done, the better. Often a little summer pruning is done at the same time as thinning when water shoots are removed from the tree by hand. Care must be taken not to summer prune on the hottest days as removal of shoots will open up the tree and expose fruit on the tree to sunburn. Root pruning is used mainly in Europe. In South Africa, very little root pruning is done to control growth. So the general target of controlling the growth patterns of the tree is to bring vegetative growth and fruit formation into an adequate balance. By using the methods that we've seen in the program, the farmer has the tools to control the growth patterns of the tree and to produce a good crop of quality fruit every year.